There's no question right now that wearing cloth face coverings or masks are one of the most powerful tools that we have right now to slow the spread of the coronavirus. But masks and face coverings have become so common that there are now a lot of questions about which masks are best to be worn. Is there a simple way to determine which masks are most effective? Yes, fortunately somebody was intelligent enough to conduct a study fairly recently and published this where they tested 14 different kinds of masks. And um, they were able to determine the amount of droplets and the size of droplets that gets through mask material. So mask material does matter. But the most important is wear a mask, no matter which material. That already is helpful. But there are better and worse materials to use. Thank you. Can you share just a quick explanation of just how do masks work to protect us? Of course. So um, masks, as have always been used in surgery and in clinics and so forth, basically what we call source control. They limit the amount of droplets that come out of my outbreath into the surroundings. They also protect me from inhaling something inadvertently from my surroundings. So they, they help both ways. They protect my surroundings from me and they protect me from my surroundings as well. So one of the face coverings I hear a lot of questions about are um, face coverings or masks with valves on them. Can mm. you speak a little bit to that? Yes, absolutely. So the N95 masks initially were designed for um, healthcare workers who work with really infectious people like tuberculosis or pneumonia or COVID. And they need to be fitted. They come in different sizes. They, they, they fit very snugly and uh, they are the best protection, obviously. Firefighters, or when we have air pollution through smoke, um, these masks are very effective because they can eliminate these particles. However, if you wear them for a longer amount of time, they become a little stuffy underneath and a little uncomfortable. And that's why if you want to wear one um, for polluted air to protect yourself, they come with a little valve here. I don't have one to show you, but what that does is it lets my out breath out and it makes it more comfortable to wear for a longer period for firefighters or people who are in smoky air. Now, unfortunately, because some of my out breath goes out in my surroundings, it's not such a good source control. So we don't recommend it during COVID to wear. But if you are out and about somewhere in the smoky air or you're working with dust, by all means wear it. So I hope that answers that question. Thank you, that's helpful. And what about face shields? How effective are face shields? Face shields are plastic protections um, that mainly should protect our eyes. Um, because the virus can get contracted through our eyes nose or mouth, the mucous membranes. So when a healthcare worker, for instance, is close to a COVID patient, they need to wear goggles or a face shield. And um, they are not a good source control. That means if I were to wear just a face shield, I would not protect my surroundings because my outbreath can go underneath the face shield into my surroundings. Thank you, very helpful. Is there any additional information on masks or face coverings that you'd like to share? Yeah, I, I, I would like to uh, quote this recent study that was done on these 14 different kinds of masks. The, the, the best mask was the N95. The second, almost as good, was the surgical mask that usually has a three layer material stitched together. And then, believe it or not, um, three to eight were homemade, self-made, double layer cotton or one layer cotton, one layer polypropylene, which is a very um, commonly used microfiber material. They were very good. Uh, not so good were bandanas or these um, nice um, fancy 
buffs or, or, or neck gaiters because their material is designed to let f um, liquid through. Uh, they are designed uh, for ac active lifestyle and therefore they're not a good material for a mask to protect everybody from COVID. Thank you.